Little Joe, we call him Little Joe. He's not wild and crazy. He's not mean, he's not aggressive. Yesterday may have just been an exception. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I'm out bright and early this morning trying to get all of my chores done as early as possible because it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. So, as you guys know, we've got kids and they do all kinds of different sports and stuff. So, Weston has a basketball game in Moore, Oklahoma, which is where he plays college basketball at, let's see, he plays at one. Then my wife's little sister, Katie, is playing college basketball. So she's got a game about an hour away from there at six. So got to get all my chores done early. And it's just crazy sometimes. The other night we had Emily, my 13 year old daughter was playing her last eighth grade basketball game. The same night, the same time, Weston was playing in Springfield, Missouri. And Katie was playing in Altus, Oklahoma. So we chose to go to Emily's game because that was her last game of the year. So. DJ and I are sitting in the stands and we got two games <laughs> on phones and watching her game and anyways, we wouldn't change it, wouldn't have it any other way. But that's not what today's video is about. So in my last video, which when you guys are seeing this, this is the morning after, my last video was short, like four minutes long. I came out here right before dark yesterday and the sunset was amazing. Most of you noticed that in the video. If you missed that video, go back and watch it. So this will all make sense. Oh my God. <laughs> what are we doing, Joe? <laughs> what in the world? Rufus, help! Help! <laughs> but I brought a bunch of treats out here and I was gonna feed the donkeys. Steve and Freedom and the pig and just hanging out before dark. It was pretty. The wind had laid down, it wasn't blowing like crazy and the weather was amazing. Well, little Joe, my mini Hereford bull back here, got fired up and was going crazy. <laughs> we'll see what he does this morning, but it's like a, I don't know, the temperatures dropped, had a cold front come through. So it's like in the 30s this morning, yesterday afternoon it was in the 60s. I think the weather might've had him a little fired up, but a lot of you noticed and a lot of you made comments in the comment section about what's probably going on, and that's some of these cows are cycling or in heat or ready to breed, let's say. Well, hang on. Morning, Steve. So, you know, you don't really fit in there very well, right? Hey, there's Pepper. Good morning, Pepper. What are you doing today? I didn't bring you any treats this time. No. So, let's go over here and see if little Joe's gonna get all fired up this morning like he did yesterday. So basically, I'm gonna try to get all my chores done as early as I can, feed all the animals, check everything, make sure everybody's got plenty of water, and uh, just all the day-to-day -day stuff early because I'm not gonna be home. We're gonna have to leave here pretty early today and uh, obviously we'll be gone. So, as far as Joe goes, let's go see if he's feeling frisky today. What's up, Joe? You gonna be crazy like you were yesterday? Huh? Or were you just feeling froggy? Hmm? Well, somebody else's. Feeling frisky back there, Joe. Good morning. What's up, Steve? I'm sorry, I didn't bring any treats. I'll feed you in a minute. Oh, what, you don't want me to pet you today? Huh? What's the matter, Steve? So obviously Joe is not, uh, little Joe, we call him little Joe. He's not wild and crazy. He's not mean, he's not aggressive. Yesterday may have just been an exception. So when it comes to the mini Hereford cows, are any of them cycling or any of them in heat? Well, I don't think so. Possibly, uh, it could possibly be one of the mini herbivores. I'm not gonna say no, it's not. It could be. Laney Jo is this cow right here and she had a calf, which is 
this one right here, back in October. He was like two weeks old when we got these mini Herefords. What is it, Joe? So she could be cycling again. So October, so October, November, December, January, February, you know, she could be cycling again. More than likely, she already has and is rebred. This one here, huh, this is our oldest mini Hereford cow. She, according to the veterinarian that we bought these Herefords from, these mini Herefords, she was supposed to calf, have a baby calf in December, he said. He said she was seven months bred when we got them. She obviously did not, and now it's February. Not saying the vet doesn't know what he's talking about, but he definitely missed her. So I doubt she's cycling. She should be bred unless, unless she just miscarried or something, which if he checked her and she was seven months bred, she didn't miscarry her. We would have found a dead baby calf out here. So I doubt it's her. She should be already bred. And then the only other mini Hereford heifer or cow that it could be is this girl. And I watched Joe breed her da, 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 in November because I think she we looked it up. She would be due in July. She uh, So she should be bred unless she didn't take in November. And as you can see, old Joe here is not acting near as goofy as he was yesterday. Come on, come on you non-goats. Bunch of random animals, donkeys, donkey poodles, little cows, big cows, mean aggressive bulls that try to run over you. Look out, don't step on my toes, please. That would hurt. Looks like we're having dinner for breakfast, guys. It's kind of like when we have biscuits and gravy for supper, you guys are having your dinner for breakfast. Typically don't feed all these animals until uh, the evenings. Alrighty. Pepper needs a little more water. What's up, Isaac, buddy? Hang on, I'll get you a little feed. Look out. So I've moved Isaac and my other little buck out away from all the does. I can't remember if I told you guys that. Probably, I don't know, a week or so ago. And basically they're in with the cows, alpacas, and donkeys. Except they're under the barn right now. But this goofy guy, he's a little more wild than Isaac and always wants to get out. See if I can get him back in here. Come on. Come on, you silly goat. Come on. Come on. This guy needs to find a new home. Come on. There you go. Back up. Back up. Come here, Isaac. Enjoy your breakfast. Look at Lambert coming through. Back up, back up, back up. You know, feeding a herd of goats is like, I'd say it's like the cafeteria line at a preschool or elementary school. Come on, goats. Let's go. Out of the way. Out of the way. You knock a bucket out of my hand. Come on, goats. Let's go. Morning, bear. What's up, buddy? Look how much bear's shedding before I finish feeding here. Come here, bear. Come here. <laughs> Look how much he's shedding. Hey, you're losing all your hair, bud. It's not summer yet. All right, 
let's dump a little more feed out so these goats quit fighting. Dump the turds out. What's up, Brewster? Okay. Barry, you take care of things around here today. I'm going to be gone, all right? I'm going to leave you in charge. You just got promoted to first lieutenant, okay? No dead ducks today, all right? Promise me. One question that I get asked all the time is, uh, where does bear eat and what does bear eat? Well, dog food. Dog food and he gets a few table scraps, bones and things, but he eats out here with the goats. I usually feed him last because he is incredibly protective of that dog food. So anytime a goat tries to come near, oh my goodness, bear just goes to barking like crazy. So back on the subject of little Joe and cows cycling. Could it be one of the many Hereford cycling causing Joe to act like a goofy, crazy, deranged bull? Possibly. But there's two more. This is likely the culprit. So these are the kids two show heifers. You got Maggie the red one and Dixie the white one over there somewhere you can barely see her. Um, yesterday when we came out I brought the kids down and uh, we were working with their show heifers. I had them tied up under the barn for about two hours on their halter tied up which is normal procedure you know. We come out and we brush them we blow them out and do all the stuff and we're walking them and leading them, but we were in this pen. So as you can see, there's multiple fences in between the show heifers and that mini Hereford bull because I do not want him breeding these two heifers. But we were in this pen, which is where the goats are, right next to the cattle, the mini cattle. Well, as we're working these heifers, I told Emily yesterday that her heifer was cycling because when we were here, Maggie, keep scratching. What, you don't want me to walk behind you today? As we were working them, she may not stand still for me, I could see a little bit of blood on her lady parts. Yeah, you can kind of still see it. She's not gonna stand still for me. Yeah, see that, that's not poop. So, that is a very good possibility as to what was causing Joe to get all stirred up and crazy because I mean literally he's only 50 yards from him but he doesn't have fence to fence access so I know he can smell love pheromones in the air I have no doubt and then when we have got in that pen and we're walking the heifers on a on a lead on a halter it probably got the scent closer to <laughs> little Joe it might have got him stirred up, might have got his uh, manly emotions stirred up down deep inside of his manly parts. But I don't think this one's cycling. This is Houston's little show heifer. Um, I didn't see any signs of that from her, so could be Maggie. Maggie could be the culprit. I'm not saying that's a guarantee. He could have just been feeling frisky yesterday. I mean, the weather was incredible. Had a beautiful sunset and uh, he's never really acted like that before. So could it be him reacting to uh, Maggie cycling? Yeah, it absolutely could. Do I think that's 100% what was going on? Nah, I don't know, maybe. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think? You think Joe was all stirred up because of the, uh, the chemicals, the pheromones, the hormones that Maggie was putting off into the air or was Joe just feeling frisky just because he wanted to play. 
I'm gonna go ahead and feed these show heifers for the kids this morning because we're not gonna we're not gonna be messing with them and working them today and brushing and combing and making them pretty and you know all the show heifer stuff and it's early and we've got plans so I'll feed for them today it's uh, supposed to be their project I have no you know I understand they're supposed to feed their show cattle every day but some days <laughs> they're in bed and we have stuff to do So yes, it's their project, I know, but uh, I guess that's what dads are for. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek because I've only, I've only had about 900 questions as to whether or not I received a package in the mail from Jamie at I'm a Survivor. Yes, package received. So I can tell you what it is because it's a long process, and if you watch Jamie, you probably know what's in that and what that's about. But shooting the video, it's gonna take, a, take about a month to put it all together. And hopefully, we actually have something at the end of that month to put together. But anyway, chores are done, animals are fed, everybody's got water. I'll keep you guys in the loop, keep you posted. I know a lot of you were pretty fired up, pretty stirred up in the comment section about how Joe was acting yesterday and how he was treating me, I guess you'd say. Uh, in other news, still no baby donkey from Freedom. I'm getting to think she's just fat. No, she's pregnant. I didn't do enough research and planning and all that to figure out exactly what date she, her due date was. And uh, it is what it is. So, I'm gonna go in and get this video edited for you guys. Get it out, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, hope the weather's holding together for you. Yeah, so anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.